All right, guys, so we're going to be talking about the Modern Warfare multiplayer beta. I want to go through the release dates for this beta for the specific consoles, PS4, Xbox One, PC, and also if we're going to be seeing an open beta with this as well, allowing everyone to actually play this game, and you can play it for free without pre-ordering because that's a huge deal to a ton of people, and it'll open up the fan base and just the you know amounts of people that will be able to actually try this game out and see if they like it. So let's go through the release dates here, where we're getting this information from. I'm not so sure who leaked it first it was victor or the gaming revolution but victor i think said the beta was going to be in august a couple of months ago and then the gaming revolution his source pretty much confirmed the exact dates within august and jack frags as well i remember last week he apparently leaked the modern warfare beta dates but there was an actual update to this and he actually got this information from the gaming revolution so that's pretty cool that a credible youtuber like jack frags pretty much took the game revolution's information and brought it out to people obviously he must have some inside information as well he he just knows and is assuming that this information is probably accurate i mean we know the game revolution's information for at this point pretty much 100 percent accurate almost all of it has come to fruition um, between the gunfight game mode and all of these different leaks it's happening so the dates august 20th for the ps4 and then apparently a week later we have the xbox one and pc August 27th and those are both starting on a Tuesday I think for sure it seems a bit weird I'm pretty sure the past couple of years we've always seen betas on separate weekends so you have like the first weekend starting maybe Thursday to, to Monday midday Monday the PS4 and then the next weekend you have the PS4 Xbox one and PC beta uh, so it's a bit weird that we're seeing this time around and I don't think we're so sure if the first week is going to be ps4 only and then the second week is only xbox one and pc or if the second week is also ps4 xbox one and pc so we'll have to get information on that very soon but those are the dates it's going to be uh, you know three weeks or so after the actual full reveal of multiplayer so that's pretty cool and i want to talk about an open beta for this as well so someone tweeted one of my followers on twitter tweeted out please do an open beta for modern warfare you'll entice so many more people that way and that is a fact i think first i don't know which beta it was um maybe black ops 3 but you had to pre-order pretty much every beta you've had to pre-order for the most part but sometimes halfway through the beta they open it up to everyone or you know just the end of the beta once you have those first couple of days for the people that pre-ordered they're just like you know what everyone gets to play i think for black ops 4 was it the pc beta for black ops 4 that was completely and wholly open so you didn't have to pre-order on the pc at all to play that beta uh so that was pretty cool but we want an open beta for pretty much everyone that would really get people as many people as possible into the game i think for the most part it's not that big of a deal for people to, you know, put down five bucks and pre-order the game, especially if you know you're pretty much going to be playing Call of Duty. It's not that big of a deal, but for people that just don't know if they want to play this new Call of Duty and they haven't been playing Call of Duty the past couple of years, and if they get a free chance to go try out the multiplayer for this game, that's a huge deal because pretty much if it's free, even if you hate Call of Duty, you're going to think like, you know what, it's free. I might as well just try it. It's not costing me anything. Not costing me five bucks. Let me just go for it. And if they like it, that's going to add so many more players to the fan base, which is a good thing for everyone. So honestly, I think an open beta is something they should seriously consider. And we'll see how that works, at least having the beta open for the second half of it. However they want to do that, I think that would be a huge deal. We'll probably get official confirmation um, on August 1st for the multiplayer reveal, you know, they'll talk about the beta, they'll talk about when it's going to be and if it's going to be open or not and the details for what maps we're going to be playing on the beta. So we'll get that information then, but I think it would be pretty sick if we actually get an open beta. I don't know. I feel like that'd be really good and I think you guys agree as well. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, I'll see you guys later.